What's going on gamers? Welcome back to another Madden 20 video. You can see we are on a 14 game win streak with my updated tips and tricks. The link in the description will give you everything that you need to be able to win more successfully. I'm talking about 8, 9, 10, 11, or you can go on a 14 game win streak yourself. Now today, we're going to break down some key things that you need no matter who the opponent is. If you use these tips that I'm about to break down in this video, you will become a pro Madden player. It's not 100% skill, it's 90% knowledge, 10% luck and exploits. So we coming out on the defensive side and I'm going to pause it for you. You need to know the situation. As you can see on the left side, he has Randy Moss highlighted. So I'm going to put double coverage over there and shade over the top. So now he's able to get a 50 yard bomb automatically. But if you double him at the beginning of the game, his chances decrease by 50%. So now we are on the offensive side of the ball. First thing I'm going to do is run the ball. In my offense, I have four different real good run plays. So I'm going to locate his weakness. Does he have run defense? We were able to get 13 to 14 yards on that first play. Now, I'm looking at his tendencies. He likes to run 3-4-I cover 2. Now, some opponents might want to run 3-4 cover 4 drop show 2, cover 3. You just have to pick up on their tendencies. So we do a different package, run it to the opposite side. At the bottom, he is still in a cover two defense. So now I'm going to go to underneath routes and corner routes. That will beat cover two. I can see at the bottom, he was in the 3-4, cover two again. Now we got a chance to go to the end zone. You don't have to always go for the deep bomb right away. You make them think that you're going underneath. Hit him with a couple runs, hit him with a couple flats, and then you know how to beat cover two and you expose your opponent. So here we are on the one yard line. You don't have to get pretty, try to throw uh, passes and all that unnecessary stuff. Just run the ball. When you are six yard line and closer in the red zone, run the ball. Four different formations, stretches, dives inside zones there's no reason to put the ball in the air because then your opponent will drop eight or nine in coverage and make you throw an interception or a fumble a set some unnecessary stuff so you can see my opponent right there does an end around that's something that i'm gonna jot in back in my head i'm gonna remember his formation and i'm gonna remember his tendencies now i'm looking down at his bottom right i always pick my play second so i mix in the three four bear in small packages in the 3-4-I in small packages. So we took his ability away from that wide receiver over there. So now we setting up run defense. It's a chance that he might pass out of this, but we're gonna play the run. You can see he tries to run up the middle. We get the block shed. I have all the setups for any kind of defense that you need. Stretches, inside zones, dives. So now we have everything locked up on the field. He's running around looking for we should have just threw the ball away and this is how you get easy wins 14 game winning streak you can have the same type of results he goes for a fake punt for some odd reason that lets you know that he's giving up and what am i going to do i'm going to get on the offensive side of the ball and i'm going to keep running the ball i'm in control we are up one possession he hasn't showed me anything special on the offensive side of the ball and we can control the clock sooner or later it's going to be broken controllers. It's going to be rage quit. People might get on the microphone and call you names. But we are going to use what our advantages is in the game to win. It's about having fun. But at the end of the day, you want to walk away with a W. Let's get it. 